Pokemon Home is out right now for the Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Pokemon Home allows players to transfer and store Pokemon from past and present Pokemon games, as well as trade Pokemon and other features such as mystery gift and various challenges. The software can be used for free, but there is a premium option which includes more features. We've recently had Pokemon Bank on the Nintendo 3DS, which lets players store their Pokemon for a small yearly fee. With the companion PokeTransfer app, this allowed you to transfer a lot of old Pokemon to newer Pokemon games. And when I say older Pokemon games, technically you can now get Pokemon from Generation 3, Game Boy Advance and GameCube titles all the way up into Home and into Pokemon Sword and Shield. The focus of this video is about the Pokemon that you have caught and trained over previous generations. I will not be covering the internet and in-game mystery gifts. Most of the mystery gift Pokemon can be transferred normally with the methods I'm about to explain. Admittedly, this is a very overwhelming process and should have been done over the various years of past Pokemon generations. But I've given myself a day to get all this footage and most of my my Pokemon I've transferred between generations already and all my older consoles are packed away in the attic. That being said, please leave a like, share with your friends and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button because I have worked really hard getting all this footage. In each stage of the video I will list all the hardware, software and any notes in addition to carrying out the transfer. At the time of recording you cannot use Pokemon Go with Pokemon Home, this is a feature that will be coming later. So I won't be able to explain Pokemon Go connectivity in this video. All that said, I hope you find the information you're looking for in this video. So let's start with Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness. Okay, I just want to start with deeply apologising for the quality here. Yes, I had to film a TV. Our HDMI converter thing wasn't working, so everything went horribly wrong, and this was the best I could do. To start, we have the GameCube title Pokemon Coliseum. You must go to the lower level of any Pokemon Center and talk to the Trade Center lady. You will need a GameCube or Nintendo Wii, Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Advance transfer cable. Follow the instructions on the screen. This is technically a trade, not a transfer, so if you make a mistake at this point you are able to trade things freely between the two games. Nothing appears on the Game Boy Advance but the Coliseum game logo, but you need to use a D-pad to choose which Pokemon to trade. For this video, I found my oldest Quagsire, Togetic, Tyranitar and Shuckle that all originate in this game. When you finish trading, save and power off. This process is the same for XD Gale of Darkness as well, however you must have reached a certain point in order to use it. Oops. Moving over to Pokemon Ruby, you can now see all of our 3D friends in 2D. You're going to want to separate them and put them in box 1 all by themselves. As we have a bit more space, I've decided Seeking and Vileplume can come along for the ride as well. This is the same process if you're using Sapphire, Emerald or Fire Red or Leaf Green. Don't forget, save your game. Over to Gen 4 and this is where it can get a little annoying. Don't worry, not too much longer of screen capture via camera. Put the Game Boy Advance game you wish to transfer from in the bottom of the DS or DS Lite. And the Pokemon Gen 4 title you wish to transfer to in the DS slot. In Diamond, Pearl, Platinum you need to go through the start menu before you enter the game and select Migrate. It will warn you that the Pokemon cannot be returned. Many of us now will have Game Boy Advance cartridges where the internal clock is dry. This is fine and perfectly normal, however if you're trading to Diamond, Pearl, Platinum it will want to sync up the clocks. This is because you can only transfer so many Pokemon in a day. Unfortunately, this means we are locked out of trading to Pearl for 24 hours. On to Soul Silver then instead. Same process again, scroll down on the start menu before entering the game, follow the instructions. Oh no, it has a HM! Okay, let's start that again. Make sure your Pokemon have no HMs, because you can't transfer them. You can select Pokemon in other boxes, but I've put them all together to make it easier. It takes a little while while it saves. Why not take a moment to remember all the adventures you've had together so far? 
Now we are on to Soul Silver and thankfully a capture device. Sorry about that. Go to Pearl Park. This will be exactly the same in Diamond Pearl Platinum as well. Here's the fun part. You now have to recapture all of your old Pokemon. Don't worry, the balls you are given are 100% capture rate. You will need to have a Pokemon with Surf if any of your Pokemon are likely to appear in water. I will link in the description what area in Power Park you can find transferred Pokemon. I will say though, if you are transferring legendary Pokemon, they take a lot longer to find. When you've caught everything, you'll get a high score, go to your PC and double check everything. Pop them in box 1 on their own and we are on to gen 5. For this transfer, you will need two DS family systems. Doesn't matter if they are DS or 3DS. If you're using a 3DS, make sure the wireless is turned on before you start the DS game, otherwise it will not work. On 1DS, go to the transfer lab in black, white, black 2, white 2. The process is the same in both. In this video, I'm using black 2. Follow the on-screen instructions. On the other DS, you will need to select download play. This will take a little while, so I've edited the footage to speed things up. The Origin DS system that has the Gen 4 game will now have a mini game for you to play. It's a little tricky. As always, the Pokemon will not be able to return to the older games. You will be asked if you wish to transfer any more Pokemon. Back in Gen 5, we can now check our transferred Pokemon. They will be in your PC. Make sure they are all in Box 1. Our first step is heading to Poketransporter. To speed up the process and for privacy, I've cut the loading times when accessing the software and my Nintendo ID. Open it up and you can choose which game to transfer from. This will be any Gen 5 game you have in your 3DS card slot, or even Virtual Console Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal games. The process is the same. It will transfer all Pokemon you have placed in box number one and put them in your Pokemon Bank transfer box. On the same 3DS, open Pokemon Bank and log into which game you wish to use it with. This should be the game you want to transfer to. You will see multiple games here if you have digital copies on your 3DS system. Go to your transport box and drag all the Pokemon you have transferred to another box on Pokemon Bank or to the bottom screen which will place them in your chosen game. This is the same process for Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. When you are done, save and quit Pokemon Bank. Congratulations, your Pokemon have gone from 3D to 2D and now they are 3D again in Pokemon X and Y or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If you want, you can see how they look now in Pokemon Ami. See you later, Quagsire. Back to bank again now because we want them in Pokemon Sun, Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It's the same as the previous bank visit but in reverse. However, do remember that when Pokemon have entered Gen 7 games, they will be unable to return to Gen 6 games. Re-enter Pokemon Bank with your chosen Gen 7 game. Select all the Pokemon you wish to bring over, save and exit bank. Now we are in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, the final 3DS Pokemon titles. Head to the box you put them in via Pokemon Bank and take another look at all your old friends.
Maybe say hello in Pokemon Refresh. Hello again, Quagsire. So it's time to say goodbye to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. The process is the same as before. Any Pokemon you cherish and wish to keep, drag and drop them into Pokemon Bank. And don't forget to save when you're done. Next, you'll need to update Pokemon Bank on your 3DS and download home on your Nintendo Switch. You can also get it on mobile devices. I'll be showing the Switch transfer in this video, but the process is identical. Set up Pokemon Home by following the on-screen instructions. Remember you need a subscription to Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Home to be able to do the transfers. Select move Pokemon to home from the Pokemon Bank menu and begin move in Pokemon Home. Select which box you want to move, then input the moving key from home into Bank. Choose where you'd like the Pokemon. When you've found your Pokemon, drag them over to a box in the game then save. And quickly for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, the process is the same to bring Pokemon over. Just drag and drop from the game box into home. And finally, here we are in Pokemon Sword and Shield. You will find the Pokemon in the PC box you chose. Congratulations team, you've been on a long journey to get here, now who wants curry? So there you have it, I have Pokemon that I caught in generation 3 Pokemon games now in my copy of Pokemon Shield. And it honestly blows me away that that's technically possible. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments what your oldest Pokemon is that you have managed to bring up through many generations of Pokemon games. And as always, leave a like if you have liked this video, share with your friends, 
and press the subscribe button if you haven't already for more Pokemon videos. And I'll see you guys next time.